hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have added a code for detecting the ledges now in this video we will add the jump down parkour action we will be adding two type of jump down parkour action so for the first one go ahead and search for jumping on miximo.com and then you will find this animation which is by the name of jumping up okay just simply select it and click on download this skin will be without skin and in the format select fbx for unity click on download this will be our first animation okay then when the player get down to the ground it will play this animation okay which is by the name of hard landing so go ahead and search for hard landing then click on it and then click on download and in the same format which is fpx for unity and without skin download it and when this is downloaded then go ahead and search for this animation which is by the name of jumping okay you can see right here jumping download this one as well then after this go ahead and search for fall a land to standing idle zero one okay this is the animation name so just simply search for this and then click on download and download this one as well okay and then the last one will be this one which is this falling idle animation and let me show you at the animation name it is as you can see falling idle okay so search for falling idle and you will find this one simply click on download and in the same format download it and once you download it this animation then get back to unity and now if you click on player model and inside the animations folder let me create a different folder for this animation so I will just name this as jump down animations now right here I will click on show in explorer let me open this up and then here is all of the animation let me cut it from here and simply paste it right here then if we get back to unity as you can see this is all of the animation so to all of them let's change their rig to humanoid then copy from other avatar and right here select the Eric Archer avatar now if you click on animation drag and drop the player okay as you can see this is the animation now let's select the other one change it to humanoid copy from other avatar and right here search for Erica Archer click apply and then if you try and drop the player as you can see it is playing the animation perfectly fine now let's do the same for the other ones okay so now as you can see it is playing the animation perfectly fine okay so if we select this last animation which is by the name of jumping okay if we play it as you can see this is the animation for now we will be adding the small jumping parkour action okay so right here what we will do as you can see there is no rotation in this animation so what we will do we will click on bake into pose and change this to original and right here in the root transform position y we will set this to feet now if we click on apply and play this animation okay as you can see now the player is not rotating 
now we need to trim this animation as well so from the start let's make it 25 okay remove the starting weight I mean when the player is taking the steps okay we don't want that so from the start cut the first 25 frames and then from the end let's move it to for example 49 Okay, or make it 48 then click on apply that is it okay so this will be the animation so make sure that you do the same okay trim it from the start and from the end like this and for the rotation select a pick into pose uh, the paste upon will be original and you can see the other two right here as well which is set to feet and center of mass so this animation is while the player will be jumping from any obstacle okay it will play this animation now we need the animation which will the which will the player play in the ear okay so that animation will be this one okay the second one which is falling idle okay you can see right here this is the animation so as you can see this animation doesn't have any rotation or anything okay so what we will do with this as you know that we will be playing this animation till that time in which the player is in the air okay so the player can be in air for five seconds or four seconds okay so we will change this to loop time and then loop pose okay and then for the rotation let's just select pick into pose okay and make it original since there is no rotation and this will be also big into pose and original and then for the root transform position X and Z we will say big into pose and original okay so if you click apply that is it now we have the in ear animation now we need the landing animation so as you can see this is the hard landing if the player jumps from a high place okay then we will play this animation whenever the player touches the ground but for now as I told you we are doing this just for this type of height okay I mean the short heights so we will be using this landing animation so what we will do with this animation is first of all we need to trim this from the end okay when the player moves up right here okay we just want to remove that whenever the player touches the ground like that then we want to cut it okay so let's just move it from the end okay so if we cut the end till 17 okay then if you play it as you can see this will be a good size for this animation okay so make the start 0 and the end 17 click apply now after this we don't want as you can see this animation doesn't have any, any rotation okay so that's why this is green okay so let's make it original and back into pose then as you can see this is the player lands on the ground in this animation so we need to set the root transform position y to feet okay and that is it now if you click apply as you can see the player is rotating so now if we check it again the player now doesn't have any rotation as you can see okay so these will be the animation which will be we will be using okay the first one is this one then we have the in air and then the landing so now if you just simply click on animator okay right here let's first of all add this jumping animation okay so we can name this as jump down or something like that then we have the in ear animation okay so we will just move it right here and you can leave this as falling idle if you want okay or you can name this to in ear and then we have the landing so we will add the landing animation right there and let's rename this to 
लैंड और लैंडिंग ओके सो लेट्स नाउ जॉइन दिस थ्री एनिमेशन ओके सो मेक अ ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम जम्प डाउन टू फॉलोइंग ओके सो वेन एवर फ्रॉम द हाइट वी परफॉर्म जम्प आर कोरेक्शन इट विल प्लेट लाइक दैट ओके एंड देन इन वेन एवर ओके वेन एवर द प्लेयर इज इन दियर इट विल बी प्लेइंग दिस एनिमेशन ओके एंड वेन द प्लेयर रीच इज द ग्राउंड वी विल प्ले द लैंडिंग एनिमेशन लाइक दैट एंड देन फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल सिंपली गो टू बेसिक लोकोमोशंस ओके लाइक दिस एज यू कैन सी okay so now we need to tell the player that the player reaches the ground okay so how how we will do that so when the player is in the air and then he perform the landing animation then right here what we want to do we will add a condition so what will be that condition we will create a pool right here on surface let me make the u capital i mean small okay so on surface so whenever this on surface is equals to true then it means that the player is on the ground and it will perform this landing animation like that that is it and right here from this transition remove this as exact time okay and then on these two leave it as it is okay and let me just move this animation like this okay so that's they are in one line now okay so this is the first second and then this is the third transition since we have the animations now now let's go ahead and create a parkour action for this so if we go inside the parkour actions right here let's me let me create a new folder by the name of jump down actions okay now in here we'll go ahead and create a new parkour action and let's name this as for example jump down so we will say jump down action okay and then in here in the animation name we will type this animation name which is jump down okay so you need to type your own animation name okay in here we don't need to add the other information okay for now just type the animation name and that is it now if we click on scripts and let's open up the parkour controller script right here after this if condition let's add another if condition and in this now we will say that player script dot player on ledge it means that if the player is on the ledge and the player is not in action then what we will do we will simply perform the jump down action okay which is this one jump down action okay and as you know right here when we are performing any action okay it requires a action so that is the reason we created a jump down action as well so now let's add a reference to the jump down action right here so type serialize field and this will be of type new parkour action okay so we will say new parkour action and now let's name this accordingly so we will simply name this as jump down parkour action that is it we have a reference now now right here in the if condition we will say player script dot is on ledge okay so that is the player on ledge so we will set this to false okay and when we set that to false we will say start coroutine and in here let's now 
call this function perform parkour action and as you can see it is a uh, action so now we will just simply pass the jump down parkour action right here and that will be it so now this will check that if the player is on the ledge and the player is not in action okay then it means that the player reaches the edge and now the player is falling so when the player is falling we will set this player on ledge to false because now no more the player is on the ledge and then we will simply perform the jump down parkour action so now you guys will be thinking that where we will set the animator bool on surface to true okay where we will do that let me show you this on surface bool okay because this need to be true okay and, and when this is set to true you will know that now the player will land okay when this is set to true so we will actually do that on our player script now so right here after this surface check method we will say animator dot set bool and the bool name is on surface make sure that you type your own bool name right there okay correctly and then as you can see we have this bool on the script which is by the name on on surface okay and we set this to true and false so now instead of making this true and false we will just simply pass the on surface right there okay so whenever the player is on the surface this will be true and when the player is not then this will be false and according to this bool our animator on surface bool will change as well and it is simple as that now if you just simply save the script get back to unity now if you click on the player okay and as you can see right here now we need to provide the jump down parkour action so this is our jump down parkour action just simply drag and drop that in there and as you can see on the animator everything is already set up now we need to just simply play the game and now you will notice let's first of all try it on the table okay as you can see it is performing the parkour action okay now let's perform it right here as well okay so as you can see the player is performing the jump down action but you will notice a little bit of lag right there okay? it just played twice okay and then after that it moves to the surface okay as you can see so we actually don't want that and also you will notice that when we try to perform the jump down action our player control is enabled as well and we can move the player around while performing the action okay so if I try to move the player as you can see the player moves in the air as well so we will be fixing that as well because we don't want the player to move like this in the air okay I mean it looks actually good if you see it okay we have a control on the player but if some of you don't want that then in the upcoming videos we will be fixing this issue with our jump down parkour action okay we will be making this perfect so stay tuned for the next videos